Welcome to the Seven Shifts audio series. Audio series is an oral version of Seven Shifts blog posts created to help restaurant owners and operators learn new ways to simplify their lives. From labor management to operations to marketing and everything in between, the Seven Shifts blog has you covered. Hello and welcome to Seven Shifts audio series. Simple, smart ideas for restaurant workers, owners, and operators to grow their businesses and make their lives easier. Seven Shifts is scheduling software made to simplify labor management, one shift at a time. We help restaurants improve performance, freeing up time for managers to focus on serving their customers. Today, we're going to talk about employee scheduling, which can be complex and always subject to changes and surprises, but is an issue that is vitally important to get right. The success of your restaurant depends on it. We'll go over the keys to effective scheduling and then dive into discussing eight steps you can follow to create or improve your scheduling processes. So, let's get started. If you're just starting out in the business, effective employee scheduling is simple in theory, but in practice, it's anything but. Veteran restaurant owners and managers can attest to that, because once you think a schedule is done, you'll inevitably have to contend with last-minute shift changes and employee no-shows. You're in luck, though. In this episode, we're going to go over an eight-step system that will help you more effectively and efficiently build and manage your employee schedules. But before we dive into the steps, let's take a second to ground ourselves in the basic keys to effective scheduling. Creating a strong schedule is an act of balance between the needs of your staff and the needs of your business. If you emphasize one set of needs too much over the other, you can negatively impact both your staff morale and your bottom line. So, what do your employees need? All employees are unique, and their scheduling needs will differ depending on their role at the restaurant and other factors. These include having shifts that match your employees' different lifestyles. For example, a night shift probably isn't a good fit for an employee who has a family. On the other hand, younger staff who don't yet have families and want to have time during the day to do other things may be happier with a night shift. All employees need to know the clear requirements of their role. This eliminates uncertainty and clearly lays out the expectations you have for them. Employees need to be able to self-manage their time off requests. This saves time for them and it saves time for you. This need can easily be met by using a good employee scheduling software. And finally, employees need the ability to switch shifts with coworkers or acquire extra shifts on short notice. Now, employees have needs but your business has its own set of requirements too. Your scheduling requirements will vary across your restaurant's different departments. These requirements include having the right mix of shifts for your type of restaurant. For example, rotating shifts work well for 24-7 operations. Fixed schedules, however, are better for restaurants that hire career staff. Having optimized schedules with the right number of employees working at the right times. This level of detailed planning helps you keep labor costs under control. Being able to better manage employee turnover rates. As we've talked about before, turnover is a huge issue in the restaurant industry. Everything you can do to retain employees and reduce turnover will help your bottom line. Using scheduling software that seamlessly integrates with your POS system to reduce the time you spend building and managing schedules. Now that we've talked about the importance of incorporating business and staff needs into your schedules, let's look at a simple eight-step process you can use to schedule your employees effectively. Step one, establish your work production standards. This is a two-part process. Firstly, you need to determine how much work an employee with a specific job should be expected to complete within a certain number of hours. You can measure how much work in a variety of ways. If you manage a restaurant, you can look at how many covers and place settings a waiter completes in a specific time frame. Repeat this process for every job role across your business. And secondly, specify and document the tasks of every job role. Step 2. Plot your current activity levels. Once you have an understanding of your work production standards, you can look at how busy you are on certain days and at specific times of the day. This analysis will help you determine the right number of employees to schedule throughout the day. Now, you might think you already know this number, but take a good look at the raw data anyway. It may very well tell you a different story. A more effective approach is analyzing the business data from your sales and labor reports. Sales reports can show you the busy times of day and busy days of the week. 
and it can show you which months of the year are quieter than others. All of this data can help you pinpoint how much staff you truly need and when you need them. Step 3. Predict your future activity levels. Use your current activity levels to forecast your future activity levels. Consider your daily, monthly, quarterly, and yearly sales cycles. If your data tells you the specific times of the day or year are always busier than others, you can predict with some certainty that this pattern will repeat itself, and you can plan your staffing and scheduling accordingly. Step 4. Determine the exact number of employees you need. Divide your production standards by the number of customers you have. If you manage a restaurant that regularly does 150 covers on a Tuesday, and a waiter can do 30 covers in an 8-hour shift, then you'll most likely need to schedule 5 servers. But bear this in mind, some employees are more productive than others. And while you don't want to overwork your more productive employees, you may be able to schedule less staff when those high-achieving employees are on a shift. Finally, check your results against your intuition and to make any final adjustments that feel right. Step 5. Incorporate your staff's needs and other considerations into the equation. The next thing you'll need to do is balance your need for an optimized schedule against the needs of your employees. Make sure that you give everyone advance notice of schedule changes so they can all plan accordingly, match the right shifts with the right staff according to their needs and lifestyles, allocate a fair number of shifts per employee, clearly define the tasks and expectations for each role, give employees the option, and that means to switch shifts with each other easily, and allow employees to self-manage their time off requests. You'll also need to make sure you have a plan to operate when there are no-shows and expect last-minute shift swaps. Finally, make sure to read up on the laws and regulations in your area to ensure you're in compliance. Step 6. Select your shift scheduling method. When you're creating your schedule, there are three methods to choose from. Pen and paper, spreadsheets, and employee scheduling software. Each method has its pros and cons. 1. Using a pen and paper to create schedules is the most cost-effective method, but also the most time-consuming. 2. Spreadsheets. Though more advanced than pen and paper, still require a time investment to build schedules. You can't automate the scheduling process with spreadsheets, and there is no way to keep easy and effective communication between employees and the management. 3. Employee scheduling software requires upfront financial investment but it will save you time and money in the long run. You can easily build your restaurant staff schedule with a drag-and-drop schedule builder that automatically factors in time off, availability, and overtime. Plus, you can keep your whole team in sync with the built-in chat functionality. Step 7. Distribute the schedule to employees. Send your completed schedule to your employees so that they know when they're working and what's expected of them so they can be accountable. If you use spreadsheets, you can distribute it via email or provide cloud access. If you use bulletin or whiteboards, let your employees know when the new schedule is posted. If you use scheduling software, publish the schedule on the platform and staff will instantly receive a notification on their mobile devices. They'll also get notifications if there are changes down the line. All of this means you can schedule fewer meetings and reduce the manager input needed to keep the schedule in order. And finally, step eight, periodically evaluate your schedule and process. Refining your scheduling is a process. Your work doesn't stop after you've created it. Make sure to regularly analyze your schedule and scheduling processes to identify problems and find solutions to improve. Effective employee scheduling can be a tricky process, and the technology and best practices are always changing. But it's a very important skill to master both for the morale and well-being of your employees and for your restaurant's bottom line. There are plenty of options out there when it comes to restaurant scheduling and management software. The software created by Seven Shifts is designed specifically for restaurateurs by veterans of the restaurant business. It can help you spend 80% less time scheduling and reduce your labor costs by up to 3%. I hope this talk has been helpful to you and will help you make your restaurant scheduling practices even better for you and your staff. Good luck, and we'll be back soon with more restaurant industry tips and tricks. Thanks for listening to another episode of the 7 Shifts audio series. To listen to more great content for restaurateurs, check out 7shifts.com slash blog. 
or to learn more about how Seven Shifts can simplify labor management in your restaurant, visit sevenshifts.com.